Prince Harry filed a judicial review against the Home Office after being denied permission to pay for himself and his family's private security. Security expert Richard J. H. argued that there is no comparison between the private police protection the Duke is using in the US and the government provided detail the UK can offer. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle saw their security arrangements completely overhauled after announcing they were stepping down as working members of the royal family in 2020. The Director of Operations for Mobius International Security told Royally Us, cost alone shouldn't be based solely on his role within the family and the taxpayers funded that service besides the fact that Harry has now removed that argument in its entirety. H has offered to pay police protection so the UK government can't turn around and say the UK taxpayer ISNT actually now going to fund this because you're no longer providing a service to the people. Now he has offered to pay for it in its entirety so when you have to make a comparison between the private sector and the UK, and that of the government-led provision, there is no comparison whatsoever. And we're not just discussing the differences between manpower from a government police protection provision and that sort of private sector. He added, if Harry came home to the UK and he received private sector only security, that security is compounded by not only the lack of competence and performance on the ground generally by those individuals but also the fact that you don't have the usual intelligence flows. But on top of that which is probably the most influential aspect over all of them is the fact that they don't have the law on their side. So police put a police provision of protection to someone in the UK, because they have the power of the law, they can create sterile and secure areas they can prevent access by the civilians on the ground venues. They can control traffic flow and they can go whatever speed they like, they can stop traffic. I mean just this in itself reduces the risk to threat quite considerably. Mr. H continued. In terms of cost and his role, those arguments don't really balance well with the current situation. In terms of risk, there's an argument that the government says that now he's no longer a member of the royal family his risk is now lowered. And I would actually argue, on the contrary, it has actually increased by virtue of the fact you have removed police protection from him. So his risk on the ground is increased exponentially in comparison. You can't, especially in the UK, make a comparison between a government provision close protection and that of a private sector. 